So you see where we set up that cross charge on the far side of the field? That allowed Ladanian to scoop up the ball, pass it on a short out to Tony. And wait, 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 wait. Which one is Tony? He's number 50, slightly to the left of Ladanian. Oh, okay. Anyway, Ladanian crosses to the other side of the field, getting a good 15 yard lead ahead of Tony. That's when Tony passes it back to Ladanian. All right, so sort of, sort of like a flea flicker, right? Ah man, don't be a dumbass. Flea flickers are a football thing. Oh come on, that's exactly what he's doing. Now, ah uh, look, Ladanian then passes the ball off to me, about five yards ahead in the backfield, and that's when he's I a score. Yeah, see, looks like you're really starting to get the hang of this sport. Ah, uh, it's not my fault. I, I grew up in a football family. Your uncle being a diehard Raiders fan doesn't count as being part of a football family. It's about time you became cultured. Oh, uh, seriously, every year we would get together, watch the Super Bowl. I remember this one time in uh, 2003 when the Raiders were in the Super Bowl. It was... Uh, you no, know never mind. And what do you know, anyway? Lacrosse isn't an American sport. If we're talking baseball, yeah, sure, but lacrosse? <laughs> what? It's played on the national level. Yeah, but it doesn't have the Major League Baseball money to it. It's got enough to make me happy. Not enough to get you out of this suck hole. No, listen to me. I would be astronomically thrilled if you were to make it pro, but playing at a D2 level is not going to get you there. Well, going pro is... whatever. You know, I, I, I'll be happy to land whatever a business degree can get me. I just don't want to drop lacrosse straight out of school, you know? Well, what were you thinking? A rec league? If you were to play in a rec league, you would actually break people's shins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it might be good just for the fun of it. Even if I do end up outranking everyone there. Who knows, maybe there'll be a coaching gig down the line. Ah, uh, youth league. I can see it now. Coach Travis teaching pipsqueak middle schoolers to cradle and toss. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? It's an alright job and it'll keep me involved. More busy than involved. You know what? Whatever. More power to you. It, it's good for the kids and the community and stuff, you know? You'll do more for those kids in a season than Marty's done your entire life. Don't talk about Marty like that. Sorry, man. Uh, do, you, do you guys still talk? Every day. Yeah? Yeah. He uh, called me around 6 today. Recommended a couple books. He even told me about how he's taking up knitting. <laughs> knitting? <laughs> yeah. Pops is taking up knitting. Is that even allowed in jail? Yeah, well, when you're on the good behavior list. And you think he'll get out early? He seems to be banking on it. I mean, whatever helps him sleep at night. But me? Doesn't do me much good one way or the other. Hey, you, you know with, uh... With all the scoring you've been doing. Oh, no, I... man, absolutely not. Don't you see what time it is? Oh, come on. We'll be at the bar for a half an hour. I'm pretty sure Judy's working tonight. No, I'm trying to be up by 8 so I can hit the net for a couple hours. All right, then. Uh, would you mind if I crashed on your couch? No, oh, I don't think so, buddy. But I'll tell you what, I'll give you a ride home. Oh, sure. But are you okay, like, with driving and all that? <laughs> what are you, kidding? I had a couple sips. Come on, let's go. Get in the car.
Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Good day today. Yeah, nothing special. Just practice for a bit and uh, going over some film. Good, good. So, what'd you have for breakfast this morning? Eggs and toast. Do you still get the eggs from the dairy barn over on Oak Street? Yes, Dad. Oh, okay. It's good to know that you know, they're still doing business. You know, I read another good book this week, 30 Seconds Over Tokyo. It's a short read, and I thought it would be something you, you guys would like. Uh, war story, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I read that for a book before. Uh, what, what was that? Nothing, Dad. Jake showed up before and... Uh... Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you, boys. No, not that. Really, it's... I, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll call you the same time tomorrow, and you guys enjoy your night, okay? Okay, Dad. It was good talking to you. Good night, son. Be safe. The usual, Linda. Oh, Betsy, looking good. Jordan, always a pleasure. Just have a beer. Thanks. Mm, just the way I like it. Oh, buy my friends another round over there? How do you know all these people? They're the usuals. They're cool. You want to meet them? Yeah, maybe next time. Hey, uh, check out those girls over there. Yeah, they're cute, I guess. Oh, come on. Did you even look? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Hi, uh, can I get a cranberry vodka, please? Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> hey there. Hi. Are, uh, are you and your friends here for, uh, for a special occasion? Nope. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm Travis. Hi, Travis. And, uh, and you are? Uh, Sarah. Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Sarah, can you order me another one? Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Can, can I get another one? Thank you so much. So, uh, Sarah, you from around here? Mm -hmm. Nice. Me too. Well, it was nice meeting you. Who is she? I think I'm gonna go. Dude, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I just, I wanna get up early and, and get some sleep. So, are you coming or not? I thought you were better than this. Unlike you, I won't turn down these pretty ladies. I'll catch you later, man. Good night. Travis, are you in there, buddy? Travis, come on, man, let me in. Travis, please, come on, I know you're in there. Travis, Travis, come on, buddy, come on, Travis, come on, I know you can hear me. Shut up and open your eyes, I'm right in front of you. Oh, finally, man. What took you so long? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing? What, just because I don't have any beers, I'm not allowed in your house? I know that there's some in the fridge. I don't want your beers, and I don't want you here. I want you to go to sleep. Just give up, Jake. Go home, man. And how do you expect me to do that? The ladies aren't satisfied without drinks, and now I don't have anything on me. You gotta stop doing this, man. When are you gonna learn?
Travis, is that you? Hey, coach. Yeah, sorry, just uh, finishing up getting dressed. I'll be out in two seconds. He doesn't look too good. Something you want to tell me? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, it's nothing. It's uh, just, uh, just a little morning soreness. You know, nothing a few stretches can't fix. I don't know, Trav. There's more than one game this season. Maybe you should take it easy tonight. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. If I wasn't, I, I, I wouldn't take the chance myself. All right, I'm trusting you. But for some reason, if there's anything you aren't telling me, you got to let me know. Better safe than sorry. Are you sitting down, kid? Just taking a second to remember my job out on that field. I hope this is still the truth. You're one of my best players. I'd rather you take it slow today than risk participating in the rest of the season. Coach, have some faith. I'm ready to play. All right, make me proud, son. Travis. 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 I'm sorry, can you repeat that? You might have torn your meniscus. You should probably see a doctor as soon as possible. Can, can I just get back in the game? It, it, it can't be that bad, man. I, I promise I'll get it checked out after. If you ever want to get back on the field, I suggest you stay off of it. You really think it's that bad? We won't know until you see a doctor. You don't want to injure it anymore. We don't want you out the rest of the season. So what do I do now? Let's ice it, and we'll call it a day. We'll see what the doctor says tomorrow. Hey, sorry, is the uh, trainer here? Oh, hey, do I? Uh, uh, I'll go get her for you. Travis, haven't seen you in a few days. Did you get your knee checked out? MRI and all. Looks like I'm going to be here a lot the next few months. Torn meniscus. Ouch. All right, well, I'm happy to see you. Let's get started with some exercises. Three sets of ten in each direction. I'll be right back. This is Sarah. She's one of the assistants here. She's going to be helping you every step of the way while I get some other work done. Hey, uh, I'm Sarah. How are you feeling? Just standing. Somewhere. I have been assisting here all semester. So. No, no, no. I, like, I swear we've met outside of here. Mm, I don't think we did. Where did we meet? At, uh, at Farley's last week. Sorry, uh, I meet a lot of people and I don't recall meeting you. Oh, oh, come on, really? I'm sorry. But we should really get to your routine. It's important for you to gain your strength back. Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, the routine. What exactly do I uh, have to do to get better? And this is a two-pound ankle weight. And you're going to do three sets of ten leg lifts. <laughs> is there any weight in this thing? I mean, can't you grab me a... Wait. Do you want to get better? I mean, yeah. Then shut up. I'm giving it for you. Yes, ma'am. So you really don't remember me? Can't say I do. Do you know how to do a logarithm? <laughs> oh, you are asking the wrong person. I'm so bad at math. I don't understand why I need to learn this. It's not like I'm going to need to do this when I'm a physical therapist. How is assisting in the training room going? Any cute basketball boys come in recently? <laughs> no. But there is this guy in the lacrosse team. Uh, he tore his meniscus during the game the other night. Ooh, 
Oh, is he cute? Yeah, he's kind of cute. You want to know something funny? What? He's the guy that tried hitting on me at the bar last week. <laughs> Sarah! He was so hot! Did he recognize you? <laughs> yeah, he did. And what did you say? I told him I didn't remember him. Are you kidding? Nope. Why would you do that? He was so cute. If you don't want him, send him my way. Lily, stop. It's not that I don't want him. I don't want him. He was annoying and rude in physical therapy. If I can't deal with him as a patient, how am I supposed to handle him in a relationship? I think you should give it a shot. Because why not? If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I don't know. I bet after spending so much time with him at physical therapy, your feelings will change. Just keep an open mind. I'll think about it. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. Hello there. We're back again. Well, good. Now, let's get started. It's almost my lunch break, and I'm hangry. <laughs> hangry? Yeah. Hungry and angry? Now, go over there and get started. You know, that's a good one. I'll have to use that more often. It's nothing original. It's just a common use term. So, get to work now, please. What if, uh, what if we make a deal? What kind of deal could you possibly have in mind? But what if I do my exercises quickly and correctly? I, uh, yes, that's a good whoa, whoa, deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't done. Oh, God. What? What else? If I do that, then I get to have some alone time with you on your lunch break. I'm not quite sure what I get out of this if I say yes. Well, free food is one thing, and I know that food is the key to the heart. All right. Well, I guess I'll do it for the food. But it better be something worth it. Well, what would you like? Sorry, I, uh, I gotta take this. What's up, man? I'm at the trainer's getting fixed up. Are you drunk, Jake? Yo, I warned you I wasn't gonna keep doing this, all right? I got plans for lunch, and, and I'm doing something for me, so you gotta find your own way home. This is the last time, you understand? Sorry, Sarah. It looks like I gotta cancel our lunch date. Is everything okay? You sounded pretty angry. Yeah, no, it's fine. Just, uh, my friend needed my help again. Oh, uh, it's okay. Do what you gotta do. Thanks, and I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be back to finish my exercises. It's okay. Just go. By the way, I think it's really nice of you that you're helping your friend. Thanks. I'll be back later. Thanks for picking me up. I, you're a true dude. Oh, come on, Travis. Don't be like that. I'm sorry. Is that what you want to hear? I know I screwed up. You need to chill out. I am not going to be like your father. I know better than to drive when I'm drunk. That's why I got you. My best bud. My amigo. The shaggy to my scooby. Travis, can you please talk to me? All right, the silent treatment it is. Way to resort to grade school tactics. Two can play this game. I don't care. I don't care if we talk. I can be quiet for as long as I like. 
to see how you like it. He came back. I didn't expect to see you until your next session. Well, yeah, I was promised a date if uh, I did my exercise seriously. You were promised a lunch, not a date. Lunch is not an option. I already ate. But that shouldn't stop you from taking this seriously. If you want to get better fast, you, you need to focus on your work and do it. Oh. No, I, uh, I get it. You sure to do everything? Hey, look, uh, I'm really sorry about ditching right after we made plans. Just my friend's always doing this, and I just, I need to learn to say no. No, it's okay. You guys sounded really close. I mean, why wouldn't you go and help him? Uh, no, I, I know, but I still feel really bad. Well, you shouldn't. You went to go help your friend. There's something wrong with that. Besides, it wasn't like it was an actual date. It was just lunch. Yeah, no, I, I was just overthinking it. I'll uh, get back to the routine. So, uh, how was lunch? Um, nothing special. Huh. Well, uh, what'd you, uh, what'd you have? Just a small salad. <laughs> cool. Do you want to go out on a date? Wait, what? A date. Do you want to go out on one? Not a small lunch thing or, you know, something to make you a deal, but like a real, genuine date? I don't know. Travis? Oh, come on. You can't ignore what's happening here. We got this, this weird, powerful alchemy thing going on, and, and, and you got to pay attention when that happens. I mean, this, this stuff, it's not to be taken lightly. Listen, I'm not really looking for a relationship right now. And if I was, I wouldn't want to be with someone who isn't serious about it. Yeah, but I am serious. Sarah, you're all I've been thinking about since I came back here. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, don't you think it was like some kind of weird... Fate that, that brought us together? Fate? Really? Yes. Really. I mean, tell me you didn't feel even a little bit of a connection when I walked in here. I mean, what are the odds that this would happen? Travis. One date. That's all I'm asking. And if it's the worst thing in the world, I'll speak to the head trainer and I'll see if I can change the time I come in to do my PT. One date. One date. When and where? Uh, Saturday night. We can walk around town and uh, I'll get you that food I owe you. Walk around town? This is a real romantic type, huh? Hey, what can I say? I'm old fashioned. Good for you. But you have to do your exercises seriously, okay? Otherwise, I'm, I'm calling it off, understand? Yes, ma'am. So tell me, what'd you have in mind for food? I'm not sure. I mean, you're the one who asked me on this date, so I thought you'd have something planned. Oh, my plan was to ask you to get to know what you like. You know, something to keep in my back pocket. Well, what are my options? I at least need options. All right, just think. If you had one choice for a last meal, what would it be that'd make you happy? Now, for me, I think I'd have to say Chinese. That's a tough one, I... I guess... I could say I would die happy with Italian. <laughs> Thank God, you know, I was, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Look, we already have so much in common. So much in common? That's just one thing. I'm sure we can find another thing we have in common. Uh, what's your favorite color? Probably pink. <laughs> would you look at that, another thing we have in common. Your favorite color is not pink. 
You're just saying that to make me feel better. No, no, no. A wise man once said that only real men wear pink. And not only do they wear it, they love it. <laughs> no pun intended there, though. Okay, fine. I'll give you that for that reasoning. But, uh... What exactly makes a real man? I mean, typically real men don't ask me out on dates and want to know what my favorite color is. Being serious? Do you really want to know what I think it takes to be a man? Yeah, I'm curious. Action. So, what troubles make you a man? Well, for starters, uh, there's a whole lot that goes on behind closed doors that people don't know about. I mean. I might seem like my life is all happy and dandy, but there's a whole lot deep down inside me that people just don't see. Do you want to share that with me? I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but... Actually, you know what? Forget about it. It's none of my business anyway, so... No, no, no. I, I want to tell you. It's just I don't know how you're going to react. This is a judgment-free zone. Like you said, people don't know what's happened behind closed doors, so... I've got plenty of my own shit. Well, uh... My mom died when I was a young boy. And, uh... Well, as you can imagine, growing up without a mom... It's not easy. God, Travis, I have no idea. What happened to her? For the longest time, I was told it was uh, natural causes. You know, God took her and just to give her a better life. But uh, it wasn't until I got a little older that I learned the natural causes was uh, alcoholism. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Travis. I no, stop. I I, what are you kidding? No, no stop, stop. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't have known, all right? And, and I mean, I don't mind if people drink so long as they do so responsibly. I understand that. How'd your family handle with the passing of your mom? I'm an only child, so it was just me and my pops. Was? After my mom died, you know, drinking was the only thing that, that made him feel better. And one night he went out with his friends, didn't come back the next morning. I woke up, saw the news, you know, this drunk driving incident. I just I had this gut feeling that it was him. And I mean, sure enough, it was. Who's that? It's, no one, no, no one important. You can tell me. Dude, what do you want? No. No, I'm, I'm out with Sarah, man. I told you, I have plans. Then call a cab. Dude. Yeah. Sorry, that was just uh, someone from work asking for me to cover for him. Last time I checked, you aren't clear to work. Listen, if you're gonna lie to me, then this really isn't gonna work out. All right, all right, fine. It was my friend Jake again. You know, the one from the other night? He's a whole other problem in my life, and, and alcohol seems to be the reason behind it all. He's stranded. He wanted another ride home. He seems to make this a habit, doesn't he? Yeah. Look, I, I told him I couldn't. You know, I'm here, and here's where I'm staying. Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, you don't want history to repeat itself, so let's go. I mean, as much as I don't appreciate being ditched on a date, you have to do the right thing, so come on. Sarah, I'm... I'm so sorry. You know, this, this is the last time, I promise. You know, things, things are gonna change with him. Listen, this is strike two. You got one more until you're out, so play your game wisely. But seriously, we should, we should go yeah. before it's too late, okay? Hey, buddy, are you okay? Oh, I am fantastic.
Jake. My chauffeur has arrived. You know, right now that's not funny, man. Oh, come on, dude. I'm just jokes. Get in the car. Ooh. So, uh, how about some music? Nope. Here's my key. I'll be back in a little while. Aye, aye, Captain. I know what you saw tonight was... Embarrassing? Pathetic? I was gonna say strange. No, it's not strange helping out a drunk friend. What's strange is that a fully grown man feels a motherly responsibility for his best friend. Maybe because I'm all he's got. And... Maybe because he's all I've got. Look. I'm sorry we didn't get to enjoy our date tonight. Really, I, I, I truly am. Don't be sorry, okay? You just need to set boundaries. I mean, is this gonna happen every night? Every time that we go out, I'll have to worry about Jake interrupting us? Do we need to get you a beeper? Sarah, there's just some things you don't understand. Well, as long as you understand. Sarah... Can't do this anymore. Can't do what? Do what? This. Driving your ass around town whenever you're too slosh to function, which is always. You know, you you didn't have to pick me up. It didn't sound that way when you called me. Listen, I I'm grateful for the ride. It's you... not just the ride. It's everything. I've always had to look out for you ever since we were kids. You know what? You are so full of shit. Excuse me? Yeah, you, you just love having this responsibility. It's, it's a win-win for you. You get to be the friend who's morally superior to me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Is it? You didn't have to pick me up. I had cash. I could get an Uber. But no, you chose to do that. Because instead of taking a risk and being happy with Sarah, you have me to blame when things don't work out. If I'm such a burden to you, just cut me out of your life. Sorry, okay? I overreacted. I mean, you were just trying to do what was right for your friend, and I can understand that. You're sweeter than you put on, you know. I, I, I gotta take this. Yeah, um, I'll just open the door. Where did you go this morning? I went to see Travis. Where? Uh, his house. And how did that go? It went well. 
He's going through a lot. I feel really bad for him, but I just don't know how to truly handle it all. What do you mean? Well, he's all alone at home. He's got no family, and his best friend is a drunk. Where is his family? His mom died, and his dad, he's in jail. Shit. I feel like I'm the only person he can really count on right now, but that's a lot for me. Maybe you should talk to him about his friend. I tried, but I don't think he really gets where I'm coming from. Tell him exactly how you feel. Don't hold anything back. What do you have to lose? You're right. I see him tomorrow for physical therapy. I'll try to talk to him then. All right, uh, get up and do double calf raises, okay? Sarah, are you okay? I don't really know. Well, why is that? Is there anything I can help with? It's about the other night. With Jake? Yeah, I, I keep trying to forget it, but I, I can't. How am I supposed to enjoy going out with you without thinking we're going to be interrupted by Jake? I know, and I'm sorry about everything. I promise, you know, we, we, we won't be. He's an adult, and he's more than capable of calling a taxi for himself. I just feel bad about it all. It's not your fault. I mean, this has been going on for too long. It has to be done. You know, either I'm with you or I'm not. I'm proud of you. You need to start doing more for yourself. Well, speaking to me, <laughs> I'd like to take you out again tonight. No interruptions. I would like that. Thank you again for dinner. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Do you want to get some ice cream? Sure, yeah, why not? Hello. Okay. Thank you. Is that Travis? It is. I would go talk to him. Travis! Please, Sarah, just go away. No. Not until you talk to me. I've been trying to talk to you for weeks, okay? You haven't been to physical therapy or lacrosse practice. Well, why should I go? Because if you don't, your knee will never get better. So it'll never get better. I don't care anymore. Listen, I know that losing Jake was like losing your brother. Yeah, just like I lost everyone else. Not me. I'm still here, Travis. I'm here for you. Look at me. Maybe, maybe you should go talk to your father. Why would I do that? Because if you aren't going to talk to me, you should at least talk to him. He knows what it's like to lose everything. I'm, I'm going 
going to go. Go talk to him. You need help. Hey, son, long time no see. You're looking well. So, I heard about Jake. How are you holding up? I don't know. Okay, I guess. Well, I'm glad to hear that. What about your knee? How's it doing? It's all right. Is PT going well? I haven't been going. Wait. What? What? Why? Because I don't want to go. Travis, you have to go. What, what about lacrosse? What about it? Are you still playing? I, I haven't played since I tore my meniscus. But don't you want to play again? I don't even know anymore. I, I, don't, I don't know what I want. Well, what makes you happy? Nothing. Really nothing? Not even that girl you were telling me about? Sarah? Yeah, Sarah. What about her? Doesn't she, doesn't she make you happy? I mean, yeah, she does, but... And I thought lacrosse made you happy, too. It does, Dad, but with everything going on right now, I just... I don't, I don't feel like I deserve any of it. Why wouldn't you deserve it? Because it's my fault that Jake died. Stop. That is not true. <laughs> but it is. I mean, if I just would have picked him up, and then, he, then he, he wouldn't have got behind the wheel, and he wouldn't have driven home, and he wouldn't have hit that tree, and... Stop. You can't blame yourself over something you have no control over. But I did. I mean, if I just would have picked him up, he'd be alive right now. And he would have went out the next night. Just because Jake's life stopped doesn't mean that yours has. Dad, he was going to get better. I know he was going to. There's nothing you can do about it now. The only thing you can do is to live on from it. I guess. Go back to PT, get back to lacrosse, and talk to Sarah. All right. Thanks, Dan. I love you, son. I love you too, Dan. <laughs>